morning and welcome to the program Safety Tip on Delta Broadcasting Service Asaba, the Golden Dawn. Uh, this morning we're going to be talking on the topic nose bleeding. Nose bleeding is when somebody has a head injury or a blow in the face and the nose started dripping. Uh, automatically you don't see where the blood is coming out from and I'm going to be your guide this morning, Paul Urukamaya, to take us on the simple process you need to manage a nose bleeding. Now we have our casualty. We have our casualty who is with a nose bleeding. If you can see, our nose is bleeding profusely. So what we need to do first, you need to make sure you are protected by putting on your hand glove like I've done. If you don't have an hand glove, you can also use a polythene bag probably to protect your hand. Secondly, you tell your casualty to lean forward. Please, can you lean forward a bit? With the head facing down, when you do this, you allow the blood to flow down the nose of your casualty. The reason we bring the head from back to the front is to make sure that the blood doesn't return back into the system so that it doesn't cause more damages. The next thing we do, you tell your casualty, please, can you take two fingers, two of your fingers like this, and use it to compress the nose. When you compress the nose against the bone, it enables you to compress every point which the blood is coming out from. And you encourage your casualty, please, can you breathe by your mouth? She will have to breathe from her mouth for a period of five minutes. Why do we do this? We do this specifically because we don't see the bleeding spot, the vessel that is broken. If it has to do with an head injury, definitely the blood will be flowing from the head towards this direction. And when you pinch the nose like this, if the blood gets to that spot, if the blood gets to the spot, the blood is going to clot automatically. It's going to clot automatically. While you're doing this, you should reassure your casualty. Sorry, it's going to stop immediately. It's going to stop shortly. I will continue to do this for a period of five minutes because after five minutes, I expect that this blood will stop. At this point, I have to look at her. Sorry. It's still bleeding a bit. I will need to take up a gauze. Remember, we have a first aid kit. We usually have a first aid kit. You could take a gauze or an anki and hold through the nose to see if the blood has stopped eventually. If I clean like this, and the blood is no longer running out, then I've been able to manage the nose bleeding. It has stopped. It has stopped completely. I will also discourage my casualty from dipping nails and nails or using something to clean into the nose because when you do that, you're going to rupture the blood vessel more. However, sometimes you do this and it doesn't work. When you do it for five minutes and it, won't, it didn't work, you repeat the process again by pinching the nose. Please, can you breathe from your mouth? They continue like this for another five minutes. And when you continue for another five minutes and it fails to stop, it's no longer a first aid situation. It's already an emergency because whatever brings blood out of the nose, if you pinch the nose for five minutes and another five minutes and it didn't stop, definitely there is a severe internal bleeding that needs a medical attention. We usually tell you that first aid is not the definite. First aid is to put a stop from calamity. If you are able to do this for another five minutes and it stops better, but if it doesn't stop, immediately it means we will need to send this woman to the hospital. But thank God, as usual, our bleeding has stopped. Sorry. How are you doing now? How are you feeling? She's feeling very fine and okay because the bleeding has stopped. Once again, what are we running through? What are we going to run through? The first is to make sure you put on your hand glove. Your hand glove protects you from coming in contact with your victim's body fluid. In this situation, in the present situation where you have to think of your safety first before you think of another person's safety, remember if you don't protect yourself, you're not going to be affected alone. You're going to affect yourself and also contract it to uh, your friends and relative. Step two, you put your fingers like this and pinch the nose and pinch the nose 
I'm using the head of the casualty to face down for five minutes. And after five minutes, you look if it is clean, if, if it has stopped by cleaning. If you clean and it has stopped, then the casualty is okay. If it doesn't stop in five minutes, you repeat the process again by pinching and letting the head face down for another five minutes. And after these five minutes, if it stops, then the casualty is okay. If it doesn't stop, you need to make that call and refer the person to the hospital for a proper checkup. Please, you note that nose bleeding is as a result of an head injury when somebody is involved in a car accident, most especially a, a car that's am assaulted. Uh, you have a driver who hits his head on the steering wheel. You have somebody who falls from an height or somebody who has a very deep blow on the face. These are some of the things that cause nose bleeding. These are some of the situations that cause nose bleeding. And if you have this as a situation and your first aid could not stop it, you make the call to the hospital. And I believe my casualty nena is very okay. Is very okay right now. And I welcome you again once more to safety tip on Delta Broadcasting Service as about the golden dawn. The golden dawn on channel on channel 115 and start time channel 51 on metro digital and channel 41 on the uhf band we'll be here same time next week to take you on another first day topic till we meet you again next week i remain your guide paul Urukamaya. thank you